need to cut the rear brake hose so it can be put through the frame. A new blade is advised and it cuts through like butter. Hardly any oil comes out of the cut hose and putting the hose through the frame is pretty straightforward. At this point I was about to realise that the hose was not long enough so onto the internet to get some new parts. I had a fight on my hands to try and straighten the new brake holes. I used the old bend it the opposite way around the can of air freshener trick. Once the new brake hose was pushed back through the frame, I used a plastic hydraulic hose clamp to keep it secure. And then I pushed the olive into the housing using a piece of soft wood. Then it's the same process with the brake lever. Cut the hose to the right length, take out the old brake hose and put the hydraulic hose fitting and dust cover on and then clamp it and push on the olive. If all the excitement of making a new brake hose wasn't enough, I now had the glorious task of bleeding the brake. First I take out the brake bleeding bolt from the caliper and then fit the adapter from the bleed kit. Then repeat this step for the brake lever. In the instructions it tells you to use a Shimano brake bleed funnel. As I didn't have one, I just used the second syringe with the plunger removed. I'm trying to get as much air as possible out of the tube before putting it onto the caliper. Once it's on, slowly depress the plunger and you will start to see the syringe on the brake lever fill up. I keep going till I can see no more bubbles in the brake lever syringe. The only downside to using the syringe on the brake lever is that some fluid will come out when you undo it. I didn't show it in the video but I put some cling film on top of the syringe before removing and this stops the fluid rushing out.
caliper is too far away from the disc. Oh! So a bit of head scratching and looking up my front fork info explained everything. The front forks are set up to take a 180mm disc as standard, not 160mm. So back on the internet to find a 180mm to 203mm adapter. So with that done, let's get on with the next part. So I bought a Shimano Dior M6000 Shadow Plus 10 speed rear derailleur, a Shimano Dior M6000 10 speed trigger shifter, a Shimano Dior HG54 HDX 10 speed chain, and a Shimano CS HG500 10 speed cassette. Well that's it for this episode, there shouldn't be much left to do now, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Oi!